the last person who I think should be anywhere near the White House. The American people lost this election no matter who won it. We were, we were served by one candidate um, whose elite connections made her candidacy or presidency at once remarkable as a woman and yet inevitable, inevitable because of the deep establishment connections and the reality that she serves the special interests of big money in our world and not for the people on the ground. And I don't know how anyone can deny the fear-mongering and scapegoating of immigrants and the homophobic and transphobic language, the mocking of people with disabilities and the hatred of Muslims, which brewed with a whole lot of other anger that propelled Trump from a joke candidate to the presidency. Now, I don't hold Donald Trump responsible for all the things that have gone on around his campaign, but these were also the forces which worked together to make it all happen when only the second newspaper in the entire country to endorse a presidential candidate the week before the election is the highest circulating white supremacist newspaper, we have a problem with what's going on. And this isn't to say that everyone who voted for Trump is a racist. That's not what I'm saying. Of course not. This isn't to say that everyone who voted for Hillary Clinton is a Wall Street elitist. Of course not. But in the end, this week, I just feel defeated after how many months of this election. It's all we've heard about. I don't know what to say to my daughters about the kind of rape culture we live in, where someone who talks about women in the way our new president has can be elected to highest office. Knowing what is in store for the need to have a clean environment and, and how other countries view us is important. Knowing how Mr. Trump is now saying that gay rights are on the chopping block. Knowing that the Equal Rights Amendment, which we still can't seem to decide that women are equal people too in the eyes of federal law, has now been postponed indefinitely once again. To hear calls for unity in one breath and the plan to take the ability to hold law enforcement legally account to, to no longer hold law enforcement legally accountable in the next is not a call for unity, it's a code language for further division. Just to acknowledge what has happened in this election is anathema. And to talk about the racism of the of the movements around our election gets people called racist. It's as divisive as the promise of police brutality in black communities where even acknowledging there's a problem makes people angry.